in order to optimally use protein that you're eating, you have to have adequate mineral nutriture concurrent with that. Intracellular minerals like potassium and magnesium and phosphorus are extremely important to be um, uh, contained. And there are, are lots of examples of ketogenic diets where people have given particularly protein isolates. So again, uh, you know, vegetable protein isolates, I mean, they're great. <laughs> but you know, make sure they have the potassium, phosphorus, and magnesium with them. Uh, it, otherwise, it's not well formulated, and it's not going to work well. And you, people can eat everything right and lose lean body mass. And then the most obvious one is salt. Uh, if you are sodium restricted, then your body is going to waste potassium. That the renin aldosterone system in the yeah, uh, in the adrenal and, and between the adrenal and the kidney will, if you don't have enough sodium, it, they have, the body has to retain sodium. To, in any way it can to maintain circulatory volume, and in so doing, it'll sac sacrifice potassium. And so these are all, which, again, we get around to balance and, you know, uh, and so a well-formulated uh, ketogenic diet is not just about macronutrients, but also the other associated uh, requirements that need to be in balance for this to work well. Uh, and the best way to do that is don't eat anything that has more than five ingredients. Uh, and hopefully hasn't hasn't was still attached to roots or was still breathing more, uh, you know, less than five days ago. Uh, but one of the things we got from our from our registry that was reported at the American Diabetes Association meeting is that we tracked uh, for the last three years all of the patients um, you know, in our our treatment cohort who developed COVID. And when they told us they developed COVID, then we asked them to tell us if they were hospitalized. We asked them to have them, if, if they or their families would tell us if they required intensive care um, uh, treatment. Uh, and we clearly, we tracked mortality. And we did lose, uh, I think, less than 10 patients out of like 1,400 pay of our patients who developed COVID. And most of these people had diabetes, which meant their prognosis was worse than average. And we had a modest number who were in, in the intensive care unit, uh, but most of that for those 1,400 um, did not require acute any any form of acute medical care. So we either have a truly remarkable group of people who you know somebody's looking after them, or nutritional ketosis and reducing inflammation suppresses this thing called the cytokine storm. You're you you. you written a book, you know, right, we were actually writing another book of how to do it, which became our patient treatment manual, and we planned to, plan to put this together and franchise it to medical practices and train those physicians and their staff how to do it. Um, but our experience before we met Sarah Hope for a year trying to work with medical practices just to do a study convinced us that, you know, we had to do this whole hog, so we, had our, we, we um, arranged for our own medical practice group um, we learned to do virtual medical care, and we had three years of practice at virtual, virtual medical care be, before it became a necessity with COVID. Chance benefits of prepared mind, so maybe my mind was prepared, but I was not prepared for it to go like this, and I'm just thrilled to be here. <laughs>